Oh, fearless Virgo. I'm doing a video for you because so many of you guys wrote to me asking me to do uh, a reading for you, Virgo, uh, to check up on your energies right after uh, Mercury retrograde is over. So yesterday was officially uh, last day of Mercury retrograde. Yesterday was the 21st. Uh, so this, so many of you wrote to me how difficult this and challenging this Mercury retrograde was for you guys. Yeah, so let's do this. Um, a lot of you were born during Mercury retrograde. So if you were one of those lucky people that were born during Mercury retrograde, it should not affect you. I wasn't that lucky. I was not born during Mercury retrograde. So it's affecting me big, big time like most of the people. So let's do this. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. What do you need Virgo to know uh, for Virgo's highest good? In this particular reading, uh, especially on their life journey, their soulmate journey as well. What's coming up for Virgo? How is Virgo doing? What should Virgo be expecting, universe? Let's see, Virgo. How are you doing, my fearless, fabulous Virgo people? I love you guys. Yeah, this is you being patient. Look at this. This is you making a wise assessment of everything that's going on in your life. You see, this is you concentrating on yourself. Yeah, you're thinking of your soulmate here. Look at this. Two of cups being held by the star, waiting patiently. Somebody of great importance to you. Yeah, you're holding on to this person, loving this person, past life connections. Yeah, you're holding on to them, Four of Pentacles. Wow, you know exactly what you want uh, with this person. You know exactly what you want to see. Yeah, you love this person deeply. This is you loving this person very deeply. But you guys are not together right now. Look at this, Queen of Cups. This is in your subconscious position. Ooh, wow, let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Virgo. What? Do you need Virgo to know for the highest good after this Mercury retrograde? Yeah, this is you. Look how strong you are. Victorious, strong energy. You walked away from this person, Virgo. You did. You walked away from them. Uh, but yet you're holding on. Your, your heart, your heart is holding on. You still love this person, but you walked away from them. Yeah, it was unfulfilling, so they didn't reciprocate. Yeah, you see, this is you loving this person quietly from a distance. Here's that Ace of Cups that you're holding here in your subconscious position. Wow, Virgo, you're not interested in anybody else. You're showing up here as single, available, yet you're not interested in anybody else. Here's Seven of Cups upside down, and here you are showing up as single, very attractive. People view you as attractive, independent, strong-willed, available for relationships, but yet you're not going to give anybody a chance right now because you still love this person and you're holding on to them. Even though you walked away, you either gave them a cold shoulder or you walked away from them, told them bye-bye. Yeah, eight of cups. Let's see what's going on here. They could be any astrological sign whatsoever. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces, Cancerian, um, very strong Aquarius over here, Virgo also, universe please show us what do you need Virgo to know after this Mercury retrograde, yeah look at this, you're very attractive, independent, strong-willed, taking care of yourself, Ooh, this person's teaching you patience. Here's temperance card. So this person is teaching you patience. Very important lesson for all of us to learn. It's a difficult lesson to learn. That's why it takes us so many lifetimes sometimes to learn that lesson. Yeah, look at this. Major changes, transformation entering your life for the better. Uh-huh, yeah. This is you, very disappointed. Uh, not communicating right now with this person. This is you disappointed. You've been through a lot of heartbreak, Virgo. You don't trust people very easily because of it. 
you can have a lot of acquaintances, but there are very few friends that you have because you don't trust easily. People need to prove themselves to you. Yeah, this is you, very guarded emotionally, not allowing anybody to uh, take your heart, so to speak. Yeah, this is you not wearing your heart on a sleeve, even though you're not in a relationship with the person you love right now. You actually left them either uh, physically or emotionally, like you detach from them, but yet you still love this person deeply, but you're not making yourself available for relationship with anybody else. You could probably go on a few dates here and there, but you're not going to give your heart away because your heart loves this person still. Wow, this is, this is powerful, but you seem at peace over here. Yeah, let me see what's going on here. This is you, and we're going to ask about this person that you love, whoever it is. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing? Oh, what's up? <laughs> this person is coming in. This person, uh, to be honest with you, uh, this is the only king that I truly trust in a love reading, king of pentacles, coming in even though slow because pentacles are slow moving energy, but they are coming towards you, Virgo, with something solid. Ooh, yeah, reciprocity. So they want to come at you with something solid. Look at this. This is six of pentacles with king of pentacles, want to give you something, offer you something. Ooh, not cheap talk or promises. Yeah, this person loves you, but they have hard time expressing emotions, showing love, expressing love. They feel it. Yeah, you see, they've been quiet, silent. You see, this is them quiet. This person has very hard time expressing emotions, showing love, even though they feel it deeply. This person has been through a lot of um, emotional trauma from past relationships. Yeah. Ooh, heavy duty. Let's see what's going on with this person. Well, I didn't expect to have this as a love reading, but that's how it's showing up. Let's see what's going on with this person towards you after this crazy Mercury retrograde, <laughs> which affected me as well. Let's see, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Virgo. The soulmate of Virgo. How is the soulmate of Virgo currently doing at this time? Yeah, and how are they relating towards Virgo after this Mercury retrograde is over as of yesterday? It's full force is over as of yesterday, the 21st universe. How is the soulmate of Virgo doing currently? And how are they relating to Virgo at this time after this Mercury retrograde. Oh, let's see. This is very important right here. Looking right at me, Virgo. Ooh, yeah, so here we have the matching queen of pentacles. That's how they view you. They So they showed up like a minute ago. They showed up as king of pentacles. Here is how they view you. Queen of pentacles, which is a true grounded Virgo energy. They view you as whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. We're reading energies. They view you as somebody who is caring, giving, nurturing, gives, loves, uh, offers help to others. Um, yeah, is of service to others, which is true of Virgo sign. It's a sign of service. Yeah. Uh, they view you as uh, attractive, grounded, giving, nurturing, uh, marriage material. So they're thinking of you heavily. Yeah, you see, this is them very slow. They're very slow, uh, very strategic person. They are very slow. They are analyzing you to the highest detail. This person's analyzing you heavily. Yeah, you see, this is them holding back. They feel like you are helping them uh, open their heart chakra, uh, believe in love again, um, restore their faith in relationships, in love. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with Leo and Virgo. Ooh. <laughs> so here's Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to offer you long-term relationship. You would be shocked, wouldn't you? 
Yeah, this person is quiet, undercover. They want to offer you a long-term relationship. Look at all these pentacles. They're slow to action, though. Yeah, I see. Very slow to action. Look at this. A reverse king of wands. Slow to action. Not taking action right now at this minute. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's going on. It's like they're holding back, restraining themselves, trying to figure out how to proceed to get this long-term commitment with you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo and how is the soulmate currently towards Virgo after this Mercury retrograde. Ooh, do you know how powerful this combination is in a love reading? You know, right? Ten of Cups with Ten of Pentacles. It means they want, they are absolutely certain, absolutely certain that they want to offer you long-term commitment. Yeah, I see they love you. This is them loving you quietly. They somehow, Virgo, did you tell them you love them? This is, this is them somehow aware or guessing that you love them. This is them trying to uh, figure out how much you care about them emotionally. They're not going to ask you. Yeah, I see. This is them. This is them wishy-washy in your recent past. Wishy-washy in and out of your life. Not consistent. Non-committal. You see? They know that you're not going to put up with this. They know this is not uh, going to be taken seriously. This behavior is not going to be taken by you seriously. And they know that. They don't blame you. They know that in order to offer you this long-term commitment that they want to offer you they can't act like this you see this person is used to acting like this so that's their mo but uh, they they know exactly what they need to do yeah you see this person is absolutely certain they want you six of wands very attracted to you have a lot of passion for you this person has a lot of passion for you they're showing up here as very attractive uh, successful at their job or business, admired by a lot of people. Yeah, you see, they want to put work into this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is how they're thinking of you. They're feeling a great need to clear the air with you. So uh, they know that they're going to have to do something. They can't just sit there looking pretty or handsome, thinking it's going to unfold on its own. This person is looking at themselves objectively. You see, hanged men right above this uh, wishy-washy energy of theirs from the past where they were in and out of your life non-committal not reciprocal not putting work in not communicating effectively consistently they're looking at this very objectively so they're not in denial this person is intelligent and aware and uh, making necessary changes in their life yeah look at this this is necessary changes in their life to be in a long-term commitment with you you see uh, death card a lot of you are dealing with Scorpio Pisces and Libra unexpected communication out of nowhere unexpected communication passionate communication yeah this person has a lot of passion for you there's a lot of drama going on in their work life they are doing too much at the job it's like they have so many expectations from other people so many demands let me see what's going on and we're going to go into your extended reading the long-term intentions and plans they're coming back to you yeah i see they're looking at themselves why are they not uh, making a forward movement this is them yeah i see so they don't want to rush in foolishly uh, they know that they need to do this in steps you see here's the ace of pentacles they miss you a lot, Virgo. This is them missing you a lot. Feeling empty. See, when you add five of pentacles with ace of pentacles, become six of pentacles. This person wants to reciprocate. But they know they're not ready right now. They're planning. They're planning. Scheming. Planning. Yeah, you see? This person wants to see you. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask all the other shenanigans that are going on, including the... Uh, secrets, what they hiding at this time, whether purposely or not, what they planning, uh, and what they planning long term after this Mercury retrograde. Yeah, I see reconciliation. Look at this. 
after breakup reconciliation, that's what they're planning, even though they're not taking action right now, is the tower and reconciliation. This person is coming back to you, Virgo. But honestly, what you do with them, how you react to them will be up to you. Yeah, but they're coming back. You have unresolved karma with this person. Unresolved, uh, unbalanced scales uh, because the justice showed up. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with the Libra. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. So click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.